Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin Johnson and I've got a new guitar here in the guitar loft and I'm really excited about unboxing it with you guys. This is from a company called Court and uh, you may or may not know um, or be familiar with Court, but they are actually one of the largest guitar manufacturers in the world. And um, if you have never actually played a Court, uh, you've probably played a guitar that Court has made. They work with a lot of the biggest names in the guitar industry. And um, while um, I think they're known for making some very affordable guitars, they also make some really killer guitars. And uh, I've got one of them right here in this box. So um, uh, without any further uh, delay, let me get into this box and let's see what we got in here. All right, so we got this gig bag, and it, it, it's a gig bag, and it looks like a gig bag. It is a gig bag, but it is like, I don't know, it's almost like a solid case. It feels extremely, like, uh, strong here. Let's check this out. This is the new uh, A6. It's a gold A6 model from Court Guitars. Check that out. Oh, man, I love the, uh, man, I love the little accents here around the sound hole. Look at that bridge down here. That bridge looks beautiful. The contours to it. That is awesome. And again, this is the uh, this is the A6 model, the gold A6. And this is one of their um, premium guitar models that Court makes. Check this out. Come, if you can come in a little closer here. This right here is actually, you can see the microphone in there. There's actually a microphone inside the sound hole there and that's part of the pickup system here this is called the flex blend system uh, from fishman so it's got an under saddle piezo pickup blended with that microphone and this really nice seamless display here which is really cool with a tuner i've never actually used one of these i'm excited about trying it out but um again so um you look at the top here this is a solid sitka spruce top and it looks a little darker. Like I would think looking at that, I would almost guess that it's a cedar top because it's got a little darker finish to it. But that's actually because it's uh, torrified and it's with a specific uh, like system that uh, Court developed. It's called uh, ATV, uh, age to vintage is what they call it. And um, it's a, sp a specific way that they age the wood so that it opens up the cell structure and it actually makes the wood sound and react like uh, vintage guitar wood. So they try to like actually put some years on the wood to, to really open it up and develop that sound that's really specific to vintage guitars. It makes them sound so good. You don't often see inlays also on the bridge like this. These are some really um, cool details they have on this guitar. Also, they've got a UV finish, a UV gloss finish which actually makes the finish thinner, which means that it, um, it doesn't impede the, the resonance of the guitar as much. So even though it's a nice strong finish and it actually you know, really helps protect the guitar, it doesn't, uh, like I said, impede the resonance. So you still get like the full resonance of the wood. Another thing too, you don't see it on too many acoustic guitars. You know, there's a high gloss finish on the bottom, I mean on the body but there's a, like a smooth satin finish to the neck, which uh, really helps with the comfort of the playing. Um, and also it doesn't squeak when you play, which you know sometimes, especially under like really uh, high, high quality um, condenser microphones, especially can pick up every, every squeak. And if the neck was like that, it would come through the microphone, but I can do the same thing to the neck here and it doesn't happen. You hear the difference? So that's a good detail as far as the build quality and the build design. And um, we've got bone nut and a bone saddle too. So um, just like they used to do it back in the day, uh, really high quality woods, really high quality materials, ebony fretboard, solid mahogany back and sides. And um, man, it just looks and feels beautiful. Let's, uh, let's hear what it sounds like. All right, so I just tuned it up with this, um, again, this is the Flex Blend system from Fishman. 
And um, I'm gonna play it plugged in a little bit later, but right now I'm just gonna get, give you an idea of the acoustic sound with it. And uh, tuning it up too, I really, I, I appreciate these uh, Grover tuners back here. Really good feeling tuners, really solid feel. And I love the way they look. They just have that kind of vintage look. Everything about this guitar is kind of uh, like an homage to uh, classic guitar building styles, which I really like. But yeah, let's check this out. I'm gonna start off with just uh, finger picking, no picks, anything like that, and just see how it feels and sounds uh, with the microphones here. Yeah, it's got a great feel, you know, and I love the um, you know This like auditorium body style is always a very comfortable body style. It's not too thick um, It's not big around the sides so much that you know, it feels like you're you're having to like reach over and hug it It just feels very seamless. It's almost like a hollow body electric guitar the cutaway is very comfortable and um, the action just right out of the box is feeling really good too, really responsive. And you don't have to really fight for any of the notes, which is nice. It's also good, you know, one of the things I like to do when I pick up a guitar for the first time is try to play the full range of the guitar, you know, hear what some of those bassy chords and bassy notes sound like. And this has uh, enough bass to where it feels uh, strong but um, it's really, I think this one really shines with the, the mids and the clarity and the highs. Yeah, so just, you know, easy guitar to play, like from, from the, the top frets here to the bottom. Um, feels like, an, like a, a, a really smooth acoustic guitar, and that's, I think, what draws a lot of people towards the uh, auditorium-style guitars, is the fact that they are, are just easy to play. It feels like playing an electric guitar. And, um, man, you know, it's just really well-balanced, and it does sound open. Um, I'm trying to hear, you know, with this uh, torrified top here, I always like guitars that have that because it does kind of bring out this like uh, played in feel. And um, reading some of the specs about this guitar too, I think they tried to make it sound and feel as much like um, an old version of this guitar. Like if this guitar had been made 50 years ago brand new, that this is what it would feel like now. 
And um, in addition to the uh, aged to vintage top here, they also uh, really rounded off the frets. And, um, it, and you know, I read about it before playing this and um, curious about what it would actually feel like. And you can even see with the frets here and you can really feel it. It feels like someone's been playing it for years. It's like an old tool when you pick it up and everything is kind of rounded off and, and comfortable mm -hmm. under your hands. So it's a cool design element to think about putting into a guitar like that. Well, let me, uh, let me grab the thumb pick and the slide and uh, I'm gonna try a little bit of a different style here on the guitar and see how it responds to maybe tuning the strings a little down low and uh, getting some of that slinky blues vibe out of this guitar. Let's check it out. So I'm loving the way this guitar is sounding acoustically um, under a few different contexts, but I want to check out this uh, pickup system because again, I've never tr actually tried a guitar with this exact system in it. And again, this is the Fishman Flex Blend system. It's got an internal microphone, which you can see right in the sound hole. It's got an under saddle uh, piezo pickup. And then um, it's got this really nice seamless control panel right here which um, even though it's only got three knobs and this little, uh, looks like a little viewfinder here for the tuner, um, it's got a lot of functionality. So the left knob here is the tone control. If you go up and down, it controls the tone. If you push the button in the middle of this knob, it actually changes the phase, which is really great on stage. If you want it, if you're low volumes, you want it to sound nice and fat, you select the phase, which sounds bigger. If you're getting some feedback on stage at high volumes for any reason, you can use that phase button also to cut some of that out and give you a little less uh, feedback uh, susceptibility. The middle knob here is for the blend. So that actually blends between how much of the mic and how much of the uh, piezo pickup you're getting in your signal. So again, um, the, the mic is great because it gives you the actual sound of the guitar. The piezo is good because it gives you this nice uh, high-end and low-end sort of crisp, uh, um, very controllable sound that you can blend in with that mic. And again, if you're playing at high volume levels on stage, um, all microphones at high volumes on stage have a tendency to feed back depending on where they're placed and what type of mic it is. So it's good to have that uh, piezo pickup in there to dial some of that back and just get enough of the acoustical sound of the guitar uh, for the context of what you're playing in. And then, of course, over here, you got to have a volume knob. This is the volume knob on this side of the guitar right here. And if you push and hold the button in the middle of that knob, that's what turns the tuner on and off. And what's also nice is when the tuner is on, your signal through the guitar uh, is muted. So that turns your signal off while that uh, tuner is on and you can mute without, you know, basically being annoying to the people listening to you on stage. But I'm going to plug this in. I've got this going straight into a preamp here. Um, so there's nothing between the guitar and the signal you're hearing right now. So I wanna give you a nice clean take on uh, what this guitar actually sounds like plugged in with no effects. So I've got the volume set to a, a good volume as far as um, going into the preamp here. I've got the blend knob blended all the way onto the internal microphone. I'm gonna set this tone knob 
right in the middle. So, um, let's see, just to give you an idea of what the microphone and pickup sound like if the tone knob is right in the middle. So this is all the way to the microphone side. What I like to do a lot of times is um, move the tone knob more to the mellow side for finger picking styles like this. So I'm going to move it all the way to the uh, mellow side of the tone. All right, so let me move it back to the middle as far as the tone. And now I'm going to move all the way to the bridge pickup. So you're not hearing the microphone anymore. This is all the bridge pickup. And now I'm going to move the tone all the way to the mellow side again with the bridge pickup only. And now I'm going to uh, move it to where the tone is right in the middle, but I'm going to set the blend to like a tasteful balance between what I feel like the mic and the piezo pickup should be at. It's really cool, you know, I, I love this is mainly um, mainly on the microphone. It's about 80% towards the microphone, 20% towards the piezo. The tone knob is uh, probably right in the middle, maybe leaning a little more towards the mellow side. And um, I love having this kind of control though, because that's the thing, you know, um, the those under saddle pickups on most acoustic guitars, um, it's great when you're playing live because it gives you a really controllable sound that sounds enough like an acoustic guitar to really give you an idea of the fact that, yeah, you're playing an acoustic guitar. But when you have a system like this that has an internal microphone, uh, it really gives you enough of that organic sound to give you what you're actually looking for with the tone of an acoustic guitar on stage. And it's actually also very helpful in the studio so like, um, for example, let me play a tune for you here, and I'm going to blend uh, my ideal tone on the pickup here, and then I'm also going to add in the microphones and blend those. And that's what I like to do in the studio the most because you get an organic tone from the microphones that are outside of the acoustic guitar. Plus when you get to blend in the sounds that are inside the acoustic guitar, it gives you that fatness and that closeness that sometimes can add just the right kind of clarity and punch that maybe sometimes you're not getting from the microphones in the room.